Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and you may have seen my other video about my MGW shift knob, which was on the car when I first got it, and it was around this time of year, um, back in 2013, that I got the car, so I felt like taking the car around with that shift knob on it, and it's kind of fun to switch something out that doesn't require a lot of work. <laughs> So I was really enjoying the day and I stopped and appreciated how nice the interior is on this car. And it totally brought me back to when I did get the car. And so my first impressions of the car with the Terminator, and I'll do a whole video on this, <laughs> was just uh, how heavy the front end really feels with the blower and the iron block and everything. And I think the uh, double wrapped Cobra steering wheel also just gave it kind of a thicker feel. But uh, definitely it was, it was an experience to drive a six speed car pretty much for the first time that I ever had. And uh, just uh, to fill it with that bigger shift knob on there, it has a good feel to it. I really do like it. And I remembered that this shift knob, since it has the Cobra Snake and not the numbers, I uh, had to figure out where reverse was. I couldn't remember if it was all the way over to the right and up or down. And so I remember gently putting it in gear and letting the clutch out to see which way the car went. So that was a fun memory. But anyway, I like shift knobs because there's something so easy to switch out and it does change the driving experience and it uh, doesn't really take a lot of effort to do it. And it's not like another modification where you install it and then have to check to make sure nothing's leaking or anything like that. It's just so easy and fun to switch shift knobs. And uh, on another note, I saw this really cool early 90s Jeep and it had a Sahara cover on it. I thought it was a Sahara edition. I had to ask Jared Ode about that, who does the Jurassic Park Jeeps. And he said it probably wasn't a real one. Uh, then my wife's car uh, was really dirty. So I decided that I was going to go take it, to get it washed and get a filter for it because I already have the oil and uh, do an oil change on it since it's been a little bit for it. So went and got it nice and cleaned up. And uh, when I got it home, put it in the garage and I was amazed with how much extra room there is in the garage with this car compared to the Yukon. I mean, look at all the space I can walk around the car. That Yukon is actually a, a big vehicle. Uh, but uh, I buffed the headlights and they came out really nice. And then I gave it a long needed uh, oil change 
and uh, just enjoyed some garage time and just the feeling of getting something done. So it was a really nice day and uh, just really enjoyed driving the car and everything like that. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting content. This one wasn't that fun, but just uh, kind of what uh, we did today. So thanks for watching.